In one of the most beautiful spots in Mexico, there are 32 little girls who say a prayer each night for a group of people who turned their lives from desperate to downright delightful. Their future just a few years ago would have involved begging, hunger, hunger that is, and maybe even a job in the sex industry. Instead, as Ursula Perry shows us, the kindness of strangers here in the U.S. has reversed their course and given them a chance at success. In San Miguel Allende, visitors enjoy the best in food, views, and culture that Mexico has to offer. But until recently, in this little orphanage, the food was non-existent, the views harsh, and the culture was that of desperation. The madres, the nuns who had charge of these girls, were literally walking the streets and begging in order to have food, just food as in maybe one meal a day. Alamo Heights' Cece Box was a tourist there then, but she couldn't forget Santa Julia. And something just reached out to me. And that is where her calling became Santa Julia's blessing. Three years later, Cece was so moved, she put out a CD. The proceeds of which go to help the little girls at the orphanage. Her music, a pleasure to us. The money, a saving grace to the girls who came from nothing and came to expect even less. Some of them have never had their hair brushed. Imagine being a little girl and never having had your hair brushed. In fact, so many have been moved by the story of Santa Julia. A group of Americans have formed a nonprofit, created a website, and made a difference. But one of the first letters I got was thanking me because now they might have adequate protein in their diet. And that's pretty, that's pretty bottom line. And instead of hitting bottom, they're headed to the top. They're expecting their first high school and college graduate in the next few years. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. In fact, CC just received word that a donation has been made to put one of their girls through medical school, more than a $75,000 gift. She encourages anyone going to San Miguel Allende to visit Santa Julia, or if you can't, then visit the website they've created. That's santahulia.org.